Well, President Obama giving doctors a role in his push for gun control yesterday. He signed a document clarifying that doctors do have the authority to ask about guns in your home. But our next guest says this issue goes well beyond just safety in the home. And there are questions in many circles about whether that is appropriate. Michelle Malkin is a syndicated columnist and Fox News contributor. So what he said yesterday in this executive action, Michelle, is that he's, he's clarifying that um, doctors are able, they're not prohibited by the Health Care Act, Obamacare, from asking whether a patient has a gun in his or her home. It doesn't mandate it, but it's saying nothing in this law stops you from doing it. Why is that controversial? Well, it, there were a lot of eyebrows raised about whether this violates federal health care privacy laws, HIPAA. Anyone who's been to a doctor's office has had to fill out all of those forms, and you feel like you're assured that uh, they're not going to be invasive about personal matters that they shouldn't be asking about or that you don't volunteer yourself to these medical professionals. But I think that this was a, a green light to do the kind of snooping that's been going on for quite a long time. I do have to say this not necessarily in defense of the Obama administration, but there are a lot of people who've been mistakenly characterizing this as some sort of new initiative to deputize doctors to basically be anti-gun lobbyists in their practices. In fact, this has been going on for years and years and years, and I wrote about it back in the Clinton ad administration, when you had a lot of liberal um, establishment leaders of these uh, medical professional associations, like the AMA, the American Medical Association, uh, or the AAP, the American Academy of Pediatrics, which have basically straight out um, come out brazenly as anti-gun and advocated for a wholesale ban on, on handguns. It's shocking, but um, when my kids were toddlers, boy, that was a long time ago, but it does go by so quickly, um, we had a pediatrician that started asking about uh, if we were gun owners, what kind of locks we were using, and eventually what this turns into is a way for uh, doctors to grill children um, not in the presence of, of their parents, um, to snoop and be invasive about uh, their political views, basically. Mm -hmm. And because, I mean, it's, I, it's under the auspices, I gather, of if there's a gun in the home, that's a dangerous instrument, and there are children there, and they need to be protected, and the doctor, I suppose, is putting him or herself into the shoes of the parent and trying to make sure that the child is adequately protected. I mean, in the law, there's usually a presumption that the parent is looking out for the best interests of the child. Uh, but that, that set up sort of undermines that assumption. Yeah, it certainly does. And uh, th these are sort of the basic tenets of the nanny state, that it's uh, someone other than the parent, whether that be an educator or a health care professional or the government and politicians who know better than uh, their own parents um, what children should be, should be doing, what they should be exposed to, what they should belie believe. And as part of that nanny state mentality, they operate under the guise of being the ultimate guardians and protectors of the children. And that's why you see a lot of this safety rhetoric and, and language. Um, but it really is a, a wedge uh, to get into the home and to undermine the parental child relationship. And I know that there are a lot of snotty elitist liberals out there who are rolling their eyes and who consider any parent who talks about this as paranoid. But I can tell you that you've got many viewers out there who have been not only offended, but very troubled and worried by this invasiveness that is a, a great trend not only in um, you know health care offices but in schools as well well and it's not just uh, asking children about what's in their homes I mean it seems to be the president's trying to clarify that any doctor can ask anybody whether they have a gun in their house and that's now not considered inappropriate it's not considered nosy it, I guess it hasn't been and he's just trying to clarify for, to, to all these doctors who may have thought that that was inappropriate that it's not and they can feel yeah. free to go ahead and ask people about that I mean the thing that people need to know is that there's already an exception to the doctor-patient privilege. If, the do if your doctor believes you are dangerous and are, and are likely about to commit a crime against somebody, then he has an obligation to go, he has to go report that to somebody. So query what additional value he gets in just at random asking you whether you have a gun.
It, ex exactly right. I, th like I said, this is the, the camel's nose under the tent. There's also another public policy subtext, which I think is very important. And a lot of these anti-gunners for a long time have been trying uh, to fight against the Tyart Amendment, uh, which was passed about eight years ago, I think, with bipartisan support and has been renewed with bipartisan support. The Obama administration hadn't done anything about it until now. And I think this is starting to set the ground groundwork for repealing that. And what that did was basically fight attempts by uh, the anti-gun lobby in conjunction with uh, very liberal activists at the CDC who were trying to gain this kind of data to sue gun manufacturers and sue them out of existence. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the truth is, if your doctor asks you whether you have a gun, he may have the right to ask, and you have the right to say, none of your business, doc. You're not, you're not the right. government with subpoena power. I'm not in a courtroom. I'm not under oath. I didn't agree to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so butt out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and exercise your own parental rights and take your business elsewhere, which is what I did when uh, a pediatrician asked this of, of uh, me with my baby many, many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that many. <laughs> All right, Michelle, thank you. You bet. Take care. You.